Hi guys, these plastic click together kits, I did a couple recently, I did mention that I've done quite a few in the past and I have got a playlist full of them and I had a comment from Chatty Batty, uh, I think that's what she calls herself at the moment, um, wanted to know if I could do one without the instructions. Now I did point out that I could easily cheat and say that I wasn't using the instructions and just hide them off screen. But we'll have a go. Um, I've done one of them before, I've done one of them before. Yeah, Diplodocus, Diplodocus. Lion, that was a lion I did just the other day. There. Triceratops, I think I did one of them the other day. We've got two there. And elephant, I've done before. I have done some other ones that have uh, passed away. I just think it's the best way to put it. Um, and my grandson's done a few as well. Anyway, I think that we'll do that one. I'll put the camera on the tripod and I thought what I could do is I could hide the instructions under there. So I'll leave the corner sticking out so you know that I'm not using the instructions. And we'll see if I can do it. They are fairly straightforward. Nothing else in the box, so we'll put the box out of the way, we'll open the pack, looks like six sheets of plastic, yeah six sheets. That's the instructions. It does matter that you need to get them done in sequence, otherwise the bits don't go together. We'll have a go. Let's put the bin to one side so I can drop the bits in the bin. Right, first thing is the bit that holds the motor in place. So that will be this piece. Or oh, there should be a little, that's the bit there that you're supposed to use to poke things out. I, I got that. But we'll see if we can do it with a proper little pokey thing. So trying to do it without the instructions, it'll be a matter of, um, I've got a general idea of how it should go together, but we may get some of the bits backwards. We'll see. If you're wondering why I'm sort of moving it around a bit, I'm manoeuvring it so I can get the light to shine on it so you can see where the, the bits are that you've got to push out. Right, that's those two bits. And there's a pretty fair bet. It'd be something like that piece. Oh. Yeah, I 
think those pieces will be at the end. Because this has got to go through. And I usually get it the wrong way around. Well, there is a little circle there. Yeah, I thought there was. Yeah. I should think of that piece or of that piece will be the bits that are going to hold the motor in place. Do they look the same? They do look the same. So I'm just going to there and there. Probably got to put the motor in before you put them in. Pretty sure it's going to be that way around. Pretty sure, but we don't know. I can always take it all apart again. I can't think what that hole is for. I don't know whether it's that side or that side. Oh well, we'll find out. If it's all wrong, we'll take it all apart and put it back together again. That's its head. Got any more big bits that go across? moment I've no idea which is the front and which is the back. I'm pretty sure the front will be that bit. And then these two bits, one will be the front and one will be the back. Guess this for now. Spot another hole there. So something should have gone in there. Oh gosh, what's that piece? End of his trunk, I bet. These bits look like they should have gone in. First, yeah, they're going to be down there somewhere. Are they identical? No, they're not identical. tail somewhere. Is 
There's got to be a tail there somewhere, isn't there? Oh, that looks like a tail. Right, and that tail is going to fit into a slot like that, I reckon. So that means and that would be at that end. Assuming the tail is going to hang down that way. Or is it going to be that way up? Ah. I reckon it's that way up. Still that goes in there. So I have to pull it apart to get that in there. And then the tail will hang down the back. I do this this way. If that's in there like that. Will that clear the tail? Yeah, I think it will. So take the tail off again for now. Put that in that way around. And that tail will fit on there. That makes sense. And then that piece should have gone in there. But is it that way round? Well, that, I reckon it's that way round. So I think. Yeah, the head has got a little knot, notch in it that's going to sit in there. Oh, I can see little bits of trunk are going to sit in there. But that piece, what I'm saying is that's going to sit on there like that. So it can move around a bit. So that's got to be that way round. And I think I'm going to have to ease this apart. So we're not doing it in the right sequence because we're working from, <coughs> I could call it first principles working out how it's got to go together for the bits to go end up in the right place. I'm still worried about those circular bits there. But yeah, that looks right. That's a leg, that's a head. Leg, leg. So I reckon that's going to go on the front there. I reckon that's going to go there. And that piece is the back that's going to go on there. Yeah, that looks about right. Front of the head. Good. So 
So I say this won't be the sequence of doing it if we were following the instructions. I've deliberately left doing the legs. Let's try and sort out these trunk pieces. That looks like the biggest one. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, I reckon. We'll assume the biggest piece goes at the top, or the highest. Small enough for me not to be able to see it. I think it's gone on. Yeah, that's gone on. Right, now we've got to sort out the legs. And my logic tells me that the legs, the biggest ones are going to be at the front. find out whether we've got the motor point in the right direction. Regularly when I build these, I put it in the wrong way around. Unless you build one yourself, I'm just rambling. You wouldn't understand what I'm on about. These are feet, I think, these bits. We've got the sticky out bits to stop him tipping over when he walks. And we need those bits in a minute. I think that is, that's that one done.
like these. Go in there like that. And I need a little bit of assistance to go the other way. Might be easier to do it the other way first. How about if we take that off again? Put that on there. Yep. Can we then get that one on there? Mm, still going to have to bend it where it doesn't want to go. No, going to have to do that. It's got to be on there like that or it won't go in place. So we're just going to have to bend this to fit. There we go. Okay. Other side. Leg, foot, and linkage. That's all those bits. I really ought to be using this just so that you don't think you've got to have one of them to do it. I do find it easier. That's just a letter opener. Used to be my dad's. I've probably said that a few times in these videos. Because I don't suppose people even know what letters are nowadays. Nobody sends a letter to anybody. It's all email. together. These legs have got to be these ones because they're long and fat. Go on the back. Okay, and then these ones are going to clip in there and go under there and slide up a little bit. In there. On up a little bit. I think that's it. Now we find out if we've got it on the right side. The legs are sticking together. I reckon I got it backwards. Yeah, he's going to walk backwards. So I'm going to have to take it all apart. Because I think I've got it in there or backwards. That's not quite fully home anyway. Which might have been making it a bit stiff. <laughs> right, well there you go, backwards, you won't see many of them, he doesn't like trying to go backwards either. <laughs> well there you go, I put it together without the instructions but I put it together backwards. So how much have we got to take apart to be able to Turn the motor around. Most of it, I would think. So we can get it out through that hole, in that hole, to 
Go back round again. Okay, so line all those back up again. They are finished. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, we've actually put, put the legs back on. slide that in that's the right direction So, go on, don't get your legs caught together. Success. Instructions under the edge of the page, edge of the whatever it is, placemat. So I'll just tidy up and we'll give them a run. Drop the camera down. So there's the clue, the winder goes on the right hand side, I put it on the left hand side. The feet are getting caught together, I just need to... sort of bending in a little bit you shouldn't be that back leg doesn't seem to be doing very much does it Back legs don't move as far as the front legs at all, do they? There we go, 30 minutes, put it together without using the instructions.
Oh, his head fell off. Disaster. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.